you're sure you're okay to take this case? Yeah, I've uh, seen you do it like loads of times by now. If you're sure, look, just when you're out there, remember the two fundamentals. One, keep us a secret. Two, kill the guy. Yes, kill the guy. Look how far you've come. My name's Chloe, I'm from Nottingham, um, but I've lived in London for about eight years now. Uh, so I'm a reaper. Um, I have been reaping for five years now and um, I'm the fucking best. Typical day to day for me, get up, bit of Weetabix, um, I'll either go for a run or I might do some scythe training. I usually aim to get to the ministry about nine, although the commute is killer. Um, so it depends really on the buses. But yeah, get into the office. Sort of after then my time is split between the admin and paperwork duties um, and then the fun stuff, which is reaping. Recently, my flatmate Rahul has um, has got a job with us, which is, it's fun. It's fun, it is interesting. Yeah. My name is Rahul uh, and I'm from London. Currently live in London. I've been a reaper for about a week now. Uh, I got the job uh, by my housemate Chloe um, and uh, I was looking to learn a little bit more about the job but I couldn't find anything on LinkedIn or uh, Indeed, anything like that. I had to look on the dark web, find out that all these other uh, jobs exist. Uh, alchemists, gnome removal, cult of the dead, lawyers, that type of thing. Chloe is uh, training me in skills of the scythe right now. Uh, that seems to be going quite well. Um, we've even used it for some of the chores around the house. I do end up uh, with quite a lot of the manual labour, um, but, you know, it's the way the cookie crumbles. I think I'm going to be a great reaper because I'm just so full of life. Uh, yeah, so just done the weekly scythe sharpening. Not my favourite task, um, but it is one of the things that they ask of you for the job, you know. Which is kind of annoying. There's quite a lot of things you have to do outside of working hours. I'm not really okay with that. Yeah, I did struggle with the killing to begin with. Um, but you quickly have to realise that, that that is the job. Um, and sort of about three times after you've done it, it becomes second nature. You know, nowadays I just go in, wham, bam. Um, See you later. So I'm uh, taking Chloe's death today. She has some higher business to attend to, whatever that means. And I volunteered to take her reaping. It will be my first, actually. I'm borrowing her scythe. It's a bit small, but she'll be fine. So we come along, I guess. It's early out of the park. So we're just at, sorry, so we're just at the location now and um, my, my first victim is just over there. Uh, don't know how this is going to go but uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see, it should be about 10 seconds now, yeah.
don't really know what Chloe was talking about. That was easy. I mean, uh, yeah. Poor guy. So the weeping obviously just went really well. Um, so I think now it's time for a refreshment. Excuse me, you are not allowed to bring this, please. Take this one out, you can come in. Sorry, no camera. I, I can't bring this one nah. in? You can come in, but leave that one outside, please. No camera. Thank you. Guess uh, we'll have to leave this outside this time. Yeah. Boom. Magnum. So. Yeah. That three cents. Thank you. Can we call? Yes, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Need a bag? Uh, no, it should be it should be cool. Thanks, Thank buddy. You. Thanks. You see, this is a good thing about being a reaper, is that you don't really have a boss um, and you can just kind of, you know, enjoy yourself once the work is done. And um, Hey! <laughs> hey, excuse, excuse me! Hey, that, that's my scythe! Come back! You didn't kill the guy, did you? I killed the guy. Oh. To... Then what happened? I lost the scythe. What is the first rule? Keep us Keep secret. us a secret! We've had a whole camera crew following us around all day. Yeah, that is besides the point. This, this is work for the government. Ha, like I haven't heard that one before. We were just taking orders. Don't get snarky with me. Right? You have just left a piece of government issued equipment out in the field. I know you weren't ready. Now I'm going to have to file a fucking S37. <clears throat> oh, no, I'm not actually mad. That scythe was rusted to fuck. I needed a new one anyway. It was like basically one of the first scythes ever made. No. No, I just love messing with Rahul. It's just not the same. <laughs> 